Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Beer Bar and Beyond. I'm Andrew. Thanks for tuning in again. Uh, this time we got something unique. Well, maybe unique to my channel. Uh, you've noticed I probably have a tendency towards IPAs. Uh, but today we've got the first ever Saison I'm ever doing on the channel. Uh, that is the Plas Yapi from the Old Potter's Brew House in Grayton. So Old Potter's Brew House doing some really nice things. Small batch brewery, not doing large quantities, but making some really nice, well-crafted beers. And yeah, excited to try this Saison. So as usual, I'm gonna get this into a glass, let you know what the appearance is like, give it a sniff and tell you what the aromas are like, and then ultimately give it a swirl and taste it. All right, so some nice burst of carbonation there. It's what you expect from a Saison, usually quite carbonated, uh, quite effervescent. You can see that head, it is still very much carbonated, which is kind of what you expect from Belgian style blonde beers or light beers in a way. Very effervescent, very carbonated, almost that champagne sort of experience. This one was brewed in May, so we're about five months in. So not the freshest, but still holding carbonation very well. I don't know if that head is going to subside. I wasn't great with the pour, but you're looking at about two fingers of pretty rocky white head. It's light. It's pale in complexion, but I must admit I've seen I've seen a lot paler in terms of saisons. But then again, saisons can um, vary in color depending on the malts that are used. A darker malt might result in a more amber-looking beer, where it's a pale sort of pilsner malt will reside in something quite um, quite light in complexion and can sometimes be murky. This one though is, I wouldn't say crystal clear, there's a slight haze to it, which is exactly what I'm expecting from a Saison. Uh, but all in all, aesthetically, a very, very nice looking Saison. Cool, so let's get the aroma on this uh, Plas Yabi. All right, so some nice typical Saison notes. Definitely some, some wheat, some grain that you're getting through there. You're getting a lot of citrus notes, but like citrus rind, citrus zest. Some clove, some spice, some allspice, maybe some coriander. I do like that nose I'm getting. Almost like a whiny, kind of like sultana, Sauvignon Blanc sort of aroma. It's very nice actually, very, very nice. Well, so guys, I've poured this in a Spiegler barrel aged beer glass. Now, if you guys know in the comment section below, why don't you let me know what the ideal glass is for a Saison? I'm yet to find a Saison glass offered by any craft beer glass manufacturers. So, but guys, it's time for the most important time. Let's give this a taste. Cheers. Mm, that is really nice. Dry, refreshing, crisp. It's almost like a residual, like Sauvignon Blanc sort of clinging on the palate in a way. Really nice, it's a little bit of whiny flavor. Let me actually check, it's 5% alcohol by volume. Pretty average, pretty standard. You can find some Saisons that push it a bit higher, but this is a typical sort of Belgian farmhouse ale. Really nice, really crisp. Hot summer's day, perfect for that. Mm. A little sharp, which is nice. You want that little acidity, a little bit of kick, a little bit of lemon rind in there. Really nice. Must admit, that's a really delicious saison. I can't really fault it. Super nice. So guys, all in all, a really, really nice effort. Wonderful saison and perfect from a beer drinker's perspective if you're looking to try something new, something different. As I say, a perfect uh, summer's afternoon companion. So if you can guys, I highly recommend you pick up this Old Potter's in Plas Yapi if you like Saisons or if you're looking to try something a little different. So guys, if you enjoyed the episode, please uh, hit that like button, uh, pop me a subscription if you're interested in seeing more videos like this. And leave some comments in the section below if you know uh, what a what the ideal glass for a Saison is and uh, if you have any other comments or if there's some beers that you think I should review you can always follow me on social media links will be in the description below as well as at the end of the video so if you want to see what sort of beers I'm drinking on a weekly basis uh, follow me on there 
But until next time, guys, keep drinking good beers and I'll catch you again soon. Cheers.